So my next door neighbor knew I like power wheels, and when she saw a couple of them on the side of the road, she had to tell me about them. And so here it is. There was a little Mickey Mouse a four-wheeler and a side-by-side. -side. I didn't get no pictures of the side-by-side -side because it was pretty trashed out. The only thing good was the motors and the wheels. So I took that off already and here I am washing up the Mickey Mouse because it was filthy spray it all down now I did get the motors and the tires off the the side by side that was the only thing good all the rest of the stuff was frozen up now here's the motors and the wheels that I took off the side by side now here I am trying to figure out how to get the little motor wheel mount to connect to this little four-wheeler motor because the side-by-side -side wheels were just way too big for the little four-wheeler so that fits in there but it's too long and it was sticking out a little too far so I had to trim it up and here I am trimming it up got my little saw just eyeballed it just cut it enough off just to fit in there Cutting, cutting. Let's fast forward it. And it's almost cut off. As you can see, I just cut probably about an inch off of it. Maybe a little less than an inch. That's just enough to fit down into that little hole. Push it down in there. It was kind of a tight fit, but it did fit. Now next step, I am going to put four screws, just regular screws, into it. Right here I am screwing in. And there's my old lady, and she's going to be very mad that she got into this video. She's not. She's a little camera shy. She doesn't like being on camera. But as you can see, I put four screws in it, and it is sturdy. And I mocked up the motor right here. And cut. And I just marked it. Cause that's where I want to cut it and I want to drill a couple little holes I use my saw nothing fancy but it, this plastic cuts through it pretty good now I'm gluing that little piece on just like I did the other four wheeler now I'm changing the Mickey Mouse or the Minnie Mouse front bumper got a new steering wheel for it I hate that little blue one that was on there. Now here's what I did. Now these power wheels have the worst turning radius ever. And here's a little quick fix for that. If anybody wants a little faster turning radius on their four-wheeler, you cut just cut off this little piece right there. And there's another piece on the bottom side. And then you want to drill a couple little holes because you're going to have to want to type up the steering column. I'll show you how I did that. I just wired it, put a couple of pieces of wire around it. And if you don't do that, if you cut that, it will pop out. And here I am trimming up the fenders. Here's the back half. Kind of a dually look. I like it. Now it's not done, but it's just mocked up right now. Seeing what it's going to look like. I need to cut this drive shaft. This drive shaft's off the side by side. 
I'm going to cut it and tap it. Take it down to my dad's shop and do it. Just cut it and tap it. And there's my kitty. Scratch, scratch, and boop, boop. Okay, but as you can see, it looks like crap right now because I need to sand it down. I will sand it down, get it all pretty. But. And show you inside what I've got so far. I'm probably going to up it to 18 volts, but I just got two batteries in there right now. Makes it 12. And I'm going to put more grill glue down there when I get the shaft cut and placed where it needs to be. Because once you glue it, it will not move. And simple wiring. I've already did a video on how to do that. But, and it does work. Now, those outer tires aren't spinning because they're not bolted together. And I will bolt them together. I'm going to put a couple bolts right through there, right straight through there. And